You found Striker of Enyo, and the following is an excerpt from my main video, I Play Every Xbox Live Arcade Game Part 2, which is a massive three and a half hour experience that I encourage you to check out if you like what you see here. This version was rendered at nearly two to three times the bitrate of the original. Call of Juarez Gunslinger The Call of Juarez series started out very strong with the original. The sequel, Call of Juarez Bound in Blood, was a bit disappointing, but it has its fans. But Call of Juarez the Cartel easily destroyed the series in most gamers' eyes. That's why it was great to see another entry a few years later on XPLA, Call of Juarez Gunslinger, and it was a fantastic way to end the franchise. The game is told in flashbacks. Our protagonist, the legendary bounty hunter Silas Greaves, finds himself in a saloon telling a group about his past adventures. They use this to great effect, establishing the classic unreliable narrator, and it works well. It cuts out any unnecessary text crawls at the start of every mission, it adds some humor, and it lets the saloon patrons mention rumors about what they heard happened, and sometimes you play out those events, only to be corrected by Silas himself. That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. This aspect can change the levels, it can add more enemies, and it's also a nice change to the pacing. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy, that ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. The visual art style looks great, the gunplay and the shooting mechanics work well. Weapons feel good, dual pistols is awesome, the shotguns feel powerful. But it's always good to have the range of a rifle available at certain times. For $15 you get a good story with humor, strong voice acting, duels, an upgrade system, and collectibles all adding up to about around 15 plus hours of gameplay if you want to do it all. This earns an 8 out of 10. It is still one of the best games on XBLA. Unfortunately, it is delisted on the Xbox 360. You won't find it there. Granted, by July of 2024, they're all going to be delisted, but you understand what I'm getting at. It is backwards compatible, so it still is available on the newer Xbox storefronts. Would you like to know more? Did you like the video you just watched? Then leave a comment. Even give me a like. Then head to my channel for more. I got several series like Rage Quit 2, How the F Did I Die, and I even have a playlist for everything related to the I Play Every Xbox Live arcade game. You'll find all the parts, including higher bitrate versions of certain segments and eventually audio commentaries. If you want to see what I'm currently working on, then check the community tab on my channel, it's just right here. This is where I give occasional updates on what I'm working on and mention what's coming up next. If you want to watch the main video where this segment came from, then it should be showing up right about now, on the upper left side of the screen. The playlist for the entire series will be on the lower right. Thank you for any watch time that you can spare. The response on the series has been very positive, so thank you all.